I really, really, really love vehicles and I started this collection with kind of one focus in mind and that was to enrich the lives of others by providing unparalleled access to unique and exotic vehicles and to have a lot of fun while I do it. Hi, my name is Steve and I'm the owner of the Hamilton Collection. A lot of people think that I'm a trust fund baby, but that could not be further from the truth. I come from a very, very blue collar family that could not make ends meet. My parents worked hard, but it just didn't bring in enough money to take care of the family. We had four kids that would share a single bedroom. We moved from apartment to apartment um, when my parents couldn't afford the rent. I went to five different elementary schools alone. I remember showing up to school on many occasions where I needed a field trip uh, permission slip signed with a $5 check and, and I couldn't even show up with the $5 they needed to go to the zoo or to go wherever. Lots of, lots of missed out trips and opportunities um, and, and it was just really, really tough making ends meet and growing up. I didn't let that stop me though. I always busted my butt to try to have as normal life as possible. I always had an entrepreneurial spirit. I remember being just eight years old and uh, buying snacks from the local grocery store, the Aldi. And I would basically sell them to the local neighborhood kids, um, to friends, and, and make a buck from doing that. Uh, when I was just in sixth grade, I did a bike repair shop. I would just fix local neighborhood bikes and, and make money that way. I mean, if I wanted to have nice clothing, if I wanted to kind of blend in with people at school, I needed to find some way to make money. I started working officially at age 13 as a caddy at a golf course. I started working at McDonald's at age 14. And then when I was 16, I worked at the local Jewel, which is a grocery store around here. And um, I just, if, if I wanted stuff, I had to bust my butt to get it. It did come at a sacrifice, of course. I didn't get to do school sports. Um, I didn't have much of a social life. I always just had that grind and that, that desire to just do my best to, to make money to be successful. I just got by in high school. Um, I suppose uh, I probably wasn't the best student and you know all the work hours I was putting in certainly didn't help but again I just wasn't the best student um, and I also met my wife in high school she was just 15 I was 16 we had lockers right by each other and um, and we've been together ever since um, she is the apple of my eye when my wife and I were first dating um, she was my girlfriend at the time. I just remember going to this car show and we were walking around and she saw this Corvette and it wasn't anything special. It was probably 10 years old and she asked the gentleman if she could sit in the car and he just bluntly told her no. And right then and there I decided that if I was ever successful and, and was blessed with, with a car as nice as that, um, I would certainly just want to share it with the world. I am not a traditional supercar owner. My cars see rain, snow, dirt. Um, I probably leave them outside the house too often overnight. Um, I just, I always tell people that I own the cars, they don't own me. I drive them for the experience. Each car really does have a different and unique experience. And I think the only thing that I like better than driving them is just watching the look on people's faces when they get to drive them or sit in them um, or whatever they may do. And boy, do we get some use out of these cars. My, the, the miles that we rack up on these things is, is a little scary, but Every mile, every mile is a different story to tell, so. I love just helping people and giving back. It's one of my favorite things to, to bring the cars to a charity car show or to, to headline um, one of those shows. We find that they are just a huge draw and so many people come by me when I'm, when I'm standing by the cars and, and telling people about them uh, that that was the reason that they came to the show or that was the reason they came and donated blood or money. Uh, and so that, that's just really, really filled my heart up with the, the desire to, to do as many of these shows as I'm able.
I started SD Wheel at age 19 out of my parents' apartment. I just discovered that there was a need online for a better way to purchase tires and wheels, and I busted my butt to make it happen. You can see that it's a super busy operation today, but it wasn't always this way. I've always had that mentality to just grind it out and work as hard as possible, and I've never been content with where we are. I mean, I feel the same today that I did when I started in 03. It's always great, I've accomplished this, now what is the next bigger and better thing? Um, and I think that's part of the drive that's, that's made me successful in where I am today. Um, in 2008, Mr. Wheel Deal was launched. In 2013, Custom Offsets was launched. Shortly after, Anthem Off-Road, our very first brand that we designed and manufactured, was launched. Uh, then Fitment Industries and um, just several other companies that basically distribute wheels, tires, suspension, and automotive parts. And uh, this is just, I love, I'm, I'm in the automotive segment. I love doing this. It's, it's never felt like work to me. I wake up and I'm excited to to sell wheels and tires, to be part of this great organization. We have such a great team here, um, an awesome culture. Um, we actually even built a kitchen for our team. We've got a chef on staff and everybody eats Tuesdays and Fridays, we call it our family meal. Um, the chef makes a five course dinner or a five course meal with desserts and everybody just kind of eats together. And uh, it's, it's always been about just kind of personal interaction with people and just making a fun and awesome place to work. <laughs> I've always had a passion for cars. Even when money was tight, I would always have some pretty cool cars. Um, I bought my first one when I was 14 years old. I bought a 1984 Camaro Z28. Yes, 14 years old. And I just wanted to fix it up and figure out how to get things working all on my own. Uh, when I was 16, I had a 1979 Ford F-250 and then a bunch of other just crappy but cool cars. In 2018, I bought my very first supercar, this Lamborghini Aventador right here. And this is what kind of started the whole mess. Uh, ever since then, I've just been on a rampage to keep adding more and more supercars to the collection because each one really just provides such a different and unique driving experience. Every one of them feels different, sounds different. I love seeing the smiles on people's faces when they get to experience my collection of vehicles. Um, whether it's a little kid sitting in a Bugatti for the first time or, or just one of my friends uh, whipping around the Ferrari. Um, or all of us taking them to dinner. It's just such an awesome experience just watching others, uh, just the pure joy that they get uh, when they're in the vehicles. And, and I oftentimes forget that people just don't get this kind of access to these vehicles. And, and, uh, and it's just really important that people in certain financial positions share, share what they have. And I think so many don't. Believe it or not, I really wouldn't trade anything about my childhood or growing up. Um, it kind of shaped me who I am today. And uh, I like where I'm at. Um, I, I like the fact that I busted my butt to get where I am. My heart is especially dedicated to those that struggle financially. I know what it feels like. I grew up with that. Um, so I, I just, it's such a great opportunity to tell my story to these people, to let them know that, that through hard work, um, and just really grinding it out. And there's a lot along the way, but that it's really possible to get out of that rut to, to rise above. So that's my story. That's the story of the Hamilton Collection. Please make sure to like, follow, and subscribe.